the 172nd scale Soft with Pup from Airfix coming up next on Monster Hobbies What's in the Box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Slesky and welcome to another episode of Monster Hobbies What's in the Box? Where tonight we are going to look at the Airfix Soft with Pup from October 1916. Well, the model kit is not, but the aircraft itself is. So, without further ado, let's go down and see what's in the box. Welcome back to our bench, where once again we are going to look at an Airfix World War I airplane. And this little guy is the Sopwith Pup. Now, this is another British airplane, and I got this one at a model kit show. But they do still make it, I believe. <laughs> okay, so we will move the parts out of the way and start off with our instruction sheet. And here is the Sopwith Pup from 1917. And these instructions are a little more modern by just a touch. It includes um, directions in all the languages of Europe. And now here's the instructions on the other side. And as you can see you get a pilot and a little seat and some nice detail with ribs and a full-out cowl. Very accurate to the engine. They give you these which help. They are jigs to hold your wings together just like that so that they come out nice and square. And then uh, your struts going underneath, and the paint codes for the airplane. This one does not seem to have a particular pilot that they're favoring, so it is up to your interpretations as to how to paint it. Now there is a nice website out there called Wings Palette. It's a Russian-based website, but it has pictures on it from all the different aircraft. Primarily the paint callout sheets. So always cool to check that that website out. Okay, we get two parts trees, as you can see here. So I'm just going to zoom in closer. There. Let's examine this one first. So with this part tree, you actually get a pilot with legs, a nice seated figure and the top and bottom of the cowl with those nice vents there. The top cowl does not have any vents. And the rotary engine. It's a nice detail there. The little extra ribs on the front trailing edge of the wing. Nice detail there on the fuselage. And of course you get your struts. The machine gun here is a little more beefier than... Oops. <laughs> it's right at that focal plane. It's a little more beefier than in the Bristol F2B. And there's the struts. There are some of those little holes underneath, which again you'll have to fix with your knife. And in here they have the actual wood struts in the fuselage with a little cross brace uh, detail, which you may or may not see once the model is glued together but that's just the way it goes. <laughs> and then here is our second parts tree. There's those jigs for your wings to uh, be equal distance on your model. Nice propeller on there. And of course our wings underneath. You can actually see a little bit of detail that looks like stretched cloth in there, which is quite nice. And on the fuselage there's the... <laughs> the little sewing thread work around for the canvas of the body, the seam. And that basically brings us to the end of our review of the Airfix Sop with Pup. I just realized I missed the decal sheet. So much like the other British airplane I just reviewed, this one has the red dots that you must align somehow into the dead center. And it's got, of course, the British markings for the rear tail fin. So, quite, quite nice. 
Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode of Monster Hobbies What's in the Box, where we got to look at the Airfix Sopwith Pup. And if you would like to contribute and keep us flying high in the sky, don't forget to check us out. On our YouTube homepage, you can look for a little PayPal icon in the banner. And if you'd like to see some of our other available model airplane kits, please check us out at www.monster-hobbies.ca. And I'm going to put a link down below so you can go right to our model aircraft page. And don't forget to check out these other cool videos of model airplane reviews here, here, and here. And like and subscribe to us right down here to and click the notification button so that you can always be notified of our next up and coming videos. And until next time, happy flying.